Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Tago Cyber's channel. We're going to touch on some most recent topics in the cybersecurity world today. We're here with Shannon. Shannon, how are you doing? Great, Michael. Glad to be back. Good. Glad to have you back. So as we were talking off camera, you said there was some more ransomware attacks. So tell us the 411. So it usually happens, but over the summertime, a lot of the ransomware groups take a bit of a summer vacation and disappear for a while. And after that JBS attack and the Colonial Pipeline attack, some of the ransomware groups disappeared. And we thought possibly it was because they were getting pressure from governments to um, stop doing what they were doing, stop attacks on U.S. critical infrastructure. But what we've seen this week is that there's actually been two attacks on farming cooperatives, I believe one in Illinois and one in, an, I can't remember the other state, but they've both been this week. And again, like the JBS attack, um, there may be some food shortages coming because of these attacks and because of the impact on the operations of these cooperatives. So it's something that we definitely need to look out for. And just remember, I mean, ransomware has been around for a long time. It's not something that will probably go away tomorrow. Uh, so it's something that we really need to take some precautions on. And if you are running a business, you need to seriously think about how to defend your organization against a ransomware attack. Yeah, very true. Um, the one thing you said there that was really interesting to me is that hackers get vacation time. And uh... Yes, exactly. So you'll see a lot of times during the summer, they'll go quiet. Um, you know, and as well around the Christmas holidays, uh, things will kind of die down as they go on vacation. And, you know, the, these organizations, these criminal organizations are, are really run like modern corporations. You can kind of think of these cyber crime groups as a modern day electronic mafia. Um, and they take vacations and they oftentimes work, you know, nine to five and that kind of thing. And, um, they reinvest their ill-gotten gains within the organization to make their code better, to make their ransomware better. So, yeah, um, yeah that's interesting. Kind of but, um, way to look at it. Yeah, it's it's good to keep in mind though that just because there's these these lulls and their attacks where things slow down a little bit, that doesn't mean you should let your guard down. They're gonna come back. They're gonna get back to it. Like you said, it's just it's just a criminal organization, but it is an organization. They're very well very well funded at this point. I mean, they, mm -hmm. they fund themselves through the ransomware and they reinvest it. And it's going to be this cat and mouse game. So everyone just stay on guard, do your research and cover yourselves. But Shannon, exactly. anything else you want to add before we go? Well, it's just also interesting to look now as well as the Biden administration is taking some steps to try to limit um, the ability of these cybercrime groups to be able to cash in. And, and get the money that they're earning from these ransomware attacks. Um, they just recently made some sanctions against a, I believe it is a Russian-based um, cryptocurrency platform. So it'll be interesting to continue to, to watch the news about that and the moves possibly against cryptocurrency um, exchanges that may be helping these cyber criminals um, launder the money that they're getting. Yeah, that's a really good point. When it, when it comes to cryptocurrency, there has to be an exchange somewhere playing ball with these guys because they're moving millions of dollars around. Exactly. And for the, for the most part, if they're not doing any sort of know your customer protocol or anything like that, then they're going outside of the lines of legality a little bit. And we can at least target them to kind of put a noose around the cyber criminals a little bit. Absolutely. Perfect. Well, Shannon, thank you so much again for coming on and thank you everyone for watching. If there's something in the cybersecurity world you want us to talk about, let us know and we'll dive into it. But for now, Shannon, have a wonderful day. Thanks, Michael. You too.